Welcome back. Charles Adams joins us for a closer look at that criminal probe in tonight's Making the Case. So, Charles, can you tell us about this interesting development and talk to us about what this means for the rapper and those involved? Well, what it means is that criminal charges, both for the rapper and the people that put on Astroworld, are probably never going to happen. But we don't know exactly what occurred in the grand jury room. That is a closed door, non adversarial process where the district attorney's office gets to choose what it presents to the grand jury. Now, the thought has long been in Texas that a prosecutor could indict a ham sandwich if they wanted to. But here, I think it would suggest that Kim Ogg's office did not want to achieve an indictment. But even if they had, I think it would have been very, very difficult under Texas law. So what kind of trouble could Travis Scott really face now or in the future? I know now this is what the verdict has kind of been, but in the future there could be some trouble that he could possibly be in. Well, it's not a verdict. It's a decision uh, to not indict him. It's, it's a no bill. But what he, they could always present it to another grand jury. A lot of national pundits are talking about manslaughter, which is the reckless killing of another human being absent intent in the state of Texas. I don't think that would ever apply. That's a secondary felony with a 2 to 20 punishment range. If they were able to indict them for anything, I think it would have been criminally negligent homicide, which is just a state jail felony. But again, they would have had to show that Travis's behavior and the behavior of the promoters was so extreme that it was a gross deviation from the ordinary standard, the ordinary reasonable behavior of a regular person, and it led to a death. Uh, Travis has pled guilty in the past to both disorderly conduct and inciting a riot, where he was actively telling people to storm the stage. We don't have that here. That didn't occur here. All right. Charles Adams, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Yes, ma'am.